What's up YouTube, how you doing? This is Mr. Tybox123 and in this video I'm going to be bringing you my unboxing of this, the Blackberry Bold 9900. Now a lot of you are going to say, Adam you did the Bold 9900 unboxing so long ago, why are you doing it again? Well actually this is the white version and I actually use the Blackberry Bold black version, the 9900, to completely run one of my businesses, Honey Management, and I absolutely love BlackBerry devices. I think they're just something slightly different, and for business purpose, they really are absolutely fantastic. Now, like I say, I'm bringing you the white one, and the main reason I'm doing that is because so many of you have said, can you please get in the bold 9900 in white and just compare it to the black one and tell us what the differences are other than the color. So, let's get into this unboxing. First of all, I'll, le I'll let you know, you can actually pick this up off contract for about £400. If you want it on a contract, then obviously you'll get the phone completely free of charge. So in terms of the packaging, it, as all Blackberries, just comes placed there nicely on the top. And the Blackberry Bold 9900 in white is a very, very nice looking phone on the front. To me personally, I think it's a little bit feminine, but then again, some people say that about the iPhone 4S in white and also the S2 as well in white, but I actually prefer both of those phones in white. Now in terms of the BlackBerry Bold 9900, I actually prefer it in black. And the reason for that, I'll just grab my Bold 9900 here, the reason for that is actually what I consider to be a superior build quality uh, in terms of the back plate and also the mounting as well around the outside of the back on the black BlackBerry Bold 9900, that's a bit of a mouthful. But let me just show you what I mean. I'll just do this one at a time. Now first of all, on the BlackBerry Bold 9900, one of my favourite things on the back of it is the carbon fibre look plate. It's like a glossy carbon fibre, I'm hoping you can kind of see that. And also, around the outside of that carbon fibre plate, it's got this kind of rubber effect plastic that just feels really nice and gives it like a kind of really nice build quality in terms of the feel. Now I already think that the BlackBerry Bold 9900 is one of the best build quality phones that's out there at the moment and I absolutely love my Bold 9900 in black. But like I say, I actually prefer it to the white one and the reason for that is like I said, those two things, the back plate and also the surrounding material. Now if I show you the back plate on the Bold 9900 in white, you can see it's literally just a bit of plastic, it's a matte finish and it's just kind of got like a sort of pattern in it that you can hear there. Also around the outside of that, instead of it having that kind of rubber feel, it's got like a glossy plastic feel and to me it just doesn't feel quite as nice as the Bold 9900 in black. I'll just show you them both there. I don't know how well this is going to come out on camera, but they are quite different in terms of the back and the way they feel and also the build quality. Now in terms of the front of the phone, they're pretty much identical other than the fact that obviously one is black and one is white. But anyway, we're here to talk about the white 9900. So I'll just tell you some of the specifications as well. This has actually got a 1.2 gigahertz single core processor. It's got 768 megs of RAM. It's got a rear facing camera of five megapixels that's capable of recording video up to 720p. And it's also got a completely touch screen device there. I'll just check the size of that, 640 by 480. So a reasonable size kind of screen for a Blackberry, probably the, the largest one obviously of all the Blackberries. And anyway guys, there's the white bold 9900. Let's just see what else we get included in the box. Now one of the things I really love about the BlackBerry Bold 9900 in black is the fact that you get this really nice kind of leather case that you just put it in and I use that all the time, keeps it protected and I've actually got kind of used to just sort of taking it out and putting it back in the case again. Now I'm not sure if you actually get one with the white but we will see. So first of all, what do we get in the packaging? So let's just open this up. In the first bit of packaging, oh that's quite cool, you actually get white earbuds. With the black one you get black ones, with the white ones you get white ones. I didn't know that, I thought they would just be black. But there you go, you can see the white earbuds. Um, look exactly the same as the black ones but obviously in white. We also get a uh, tiny little microfiber cleaning cloth there and then we get all of our kind of basic instructions, warranty information, bit of promo material as well. 
Let's see what else we get in here. And in fact, I can see that we do get a white case with it as well. So you can see we actually get the white version of that case that I just showed you. So that's kind of nice. I imagine that that is going to get fairly dirty, but they are very, very well made, these kind of slotting cases that you get from Blackberry. And I think it's really awesome that they include those with the product. What else do we get in here? I'm assuming it's just the charger and the battery. Just open this up and have a look. Oh, actually, the charging cable comes in white as well. So a nice touch that BlackBerry have kind of made everything white to go along with the phone. Normally, when you get a white phone, you still get kind of black charging uh, facilities, but these are all white. And again, we've got a white three-pin charger that goes into the main socket that then the USB cable can connect to. I think that's really nice that they've actually made everything white. Um, little touch of detail there. And then we've got the battery as well. Let's see if we can quickly see the milliamp hour 1230 milliamp hour battery and in fact the battery life on blackberry bowls is actually very good anyway but anyway guys there we go that was my unboxing and first look at the blackberry bold 9900 in white now i'm actually going to be bringing you a full review of this in a couple of weeks so stay tuned for that one i'll be doing my review of the bold 9790 as well over the next few days so keep an eye out for that one as well anyway guys thanks very much for watching please do hit that like button please do hit that subscribe button and i will see you all in the next video see ya